Good morning. Good morning, people of God. Listen, I hope everybody rested well. Happy Wednesday. I want to share this, my two cents. I was reflecting on a conversation I had with one of my good brothers last night. <clears throat> he's a bit older than me. like a, He's younger in his 40s. And um, he's very uh, just got a good heart, a very good brother. And he shared something with me when we were talking. Every time we link up, every time we meet up, there's something to talk about. And I just, I learn a lot from him as well. He's just had, a, he got a good heart and he likes to talk. He likes to communicate. Um, and so I learned a lot from him. We learned a lot from, he told me he learned a lot from me as well, but he was sharing something. He was like, you know, y'all women can be a trip. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? You don't want nobody to tell you nothing. You don't want to listen. You make it hard. He said, then you think somebody trying to be your daddy. I said, what is you talking about now? <laughs> And he said, um, he said, you know, <clears throat> the girl I got now, he said, we get along so good. He said, I want to do everything for her. He said, I had to uh, let my last girl go. He said, she was just so, um, she got, she kept being, um, um, like wanted to argue. And every time I tell her to do something, he said, she think I'm trying to be her daddy. He said, we went out to the restaurant. <laughs> he said, I told her to sit you know, sit right there, where to sit at. He said, she sit the opposite and tell me, you ain't my daddy. What are you trying to tell me where to sit at for? So she got mad. And uh, and he said, so I told her. Cause <laughs> and what I like about him too is he is willing to, he knows how to communicate his feelings and express himself. So you you can learn where he's coming from, right? And so he, so I'm just listening to him, right? He said, so I told her, now where you sitting at, I want you to protect me. He said, you're making it hard for me to be the man. He said, now the door behind me, since you chose to sit there, I want you to watch my back. And if anything pop off, if anybody come in, I want you to protect me because I can't protect you because you you didn't sit where I wanted you to sit at. It's not that I'm kind of control you. I'm trying to protect you. And he said, the girl, he said, she got so mad. I said, well, did she apologize after she, or like, you know, her did her demeanor change after you explained yourself? Because, you know, Obviously, you would have felt like, oh, wow, you know, babe, I'm sorry. I just didn't know. I, he said, no, she didn't apologize. She was still mad. Like, you don't you, you don't tell me what to do. He's like, she just didn't get it. And he was like, it's just so much that was going on. He said, so I just, I, I can't deal with it. I said, now, one thing I want to explain to you, I said, not I'm, I'm not justifying her attitude. I said, but I will say this to you because a lot of us who, um, you know, had didn't grow up with both parents in the home. I said, a lot of women who never had their father there, they don't know how to recognize the protection of a man. So sometimes when you come off and you tell a woman, do this, do that, she may look at you as if you're being controlling or if you're trying to be a daddy in her life, because not because she wants to argue with you, but because she doesn't understand. So because she doesn't understand, she feels as if, you are trying to be controlling or be a dictator and that makes her put a wall up and fight back back against that because she's afraid to allow that type of you know to for you to go in that direction simply because she doesn't understand your motive so the fact that you are able to communicate and explain that to her now the attitude should have went away and maybe she should have you know uh if it, if I have done something like that I would have said oh I'm I'm sorry and I would have explained myself because I know how to communicate my feelings nobody knows how I feel better than me you know and he said that's what he said, that's what I'm talking about. He said, if women and men would communicate with each other, cut out all the book stuff and the checklist and the, and, the, and the papers, oh, let me, if you do this, do that. You know, like he said, cut out all of that. He said, if we communicate, he said, because I know, you know, there's things about me I'm willing to learn. And he said, if women and men just would communicate, I said, and I think that's the direction that, a lot of people are going in, you know, men and women have to start sitting down communicating with each other. Why are you doing this? Because if a woman doesn't understand why you're doing something and you're actually telling her, it looks like you're forcing her, you're trying to be controlling and she's going to put a wall up and she's going to run from you. I know there's many guys that I've ran from. Many were good. I was supposed to run from some of them, you know, but um, and he was like, wow, he said, that's a good thing. He said, I, I needed to understand. That. And I said, the fact that you are a man who can communicate 
your feelings. You have the patience for that. And I told him, I said, you should start like a podcast or something because the way his heart is, he is so gentle. You can feel that he, he comes from a great place. And like I said, he is a good brother and you can just relax. You can let your guards down and relax with him and ask questions. And he will tell you the concept of, a you know, the mindset of a man. He oftentimes even tells me about myself, my strengths. And he tells me, you know, he gives me advice unsolicited and not even, not even looking for at times, but he tells me and he, um, the, the type of woman I am, you know, my strength, he said, little boys are not going to be able to recognize that. He said, you're so strong. And he said, you'll get a little boy coming around. He said, they're going to look at your strength and they're going to feel like you're doing things that they should be doing. And they're not going to communicate that with you. They're going to start uh, using their words to try and knock you down or they're going to play psychological games. Oh, you think you're a man? I said, oh, I'm already, I already get that. You know, he said, and that's because they don't understand the strength. And now he has a daughter as well. And he said, I teach my daughter everything I could teach her. He said, I, don't, I want her to be strong like you. <laughs> he said, I teach her everything. And so he said, the girlfriend that he has now, he said, talking to me about women who never had their father, he said, I'm taking notes on some of that because she never had her father in her life. And he said, she's a lot more easier to deal with, but she, she's not argumentative. He said, we have a lot of conversation and she's always encouraging me. She's like she, she's always applauding me for the time that I spend with my daughter. Cause he loves his daughter. He spends a lot of time with his daughter. And so she said, she's always encouraging that because she never had that. And so I was just giving him some advice, you know, um, and him going forward in the future, just who he is. I think if this woman is able to communicate with him and they continue to, you know, um, talk to each other, they're going to, I told him, I said, I think she's going to be the one, right? Because he's a good guy. He has a good spirit. And sometimes where, uh, he said, a man that wants to do something for you, he said, you don't understand when I wanted to do something for this last girl, he said, I wanted to do things for her, but she made it hard. He said, now this woman, I want to do even more for her. He said, this is how I know that she's the one. I don't want her to have to go and, um, you know, I want to make life easier for her. He said, I don't want her to have to go outside of me and look for help. What we got, I want us to be able to build together and I want to do so much for her. He said, so I know she's the one. He said, I can talk to her and she listens and I can, he said, I explain myself to her, you know? And so that's what I wanted to share. Just reflecting on that conversation. I think that, and this is my opinion, you know, I think that women and men need to sit down and have more conversations with each other, not textbook conversations, but with each other and learn if you've had trauma in your life, if you've never had your father there, if you had a bad relationship with your mother, if you were abandoned, if you were, um, you know, adopted, if you just, if you had problems in your childhood that caused you a lot of pain or you had to um, it's like you had to be the bigger person. You never received the nurturing that you had. Those things will affect you, you know, and sometimes you grow up being stronger than a child should have to be. Sometimes you grow up, um, taking on the role of a parent and you never get to really be that little kid, you know, or sometimes you grow up with so much grief, so much hurt, so much pain. And then you start looking for that in other people in the world and you get re-hurt, re-hurt over and over and over again. I've heard some situations where some <clears throat> um, um, sisters who never had their father, they look for that love inside of a man. And when they look for that man to love them like their father, that man took advantage of their vulnerabilities and they got hurt time after time. They got played with, they got lied to, and they kept looking for that in a man going from the next, going to the next one, going to the next one, you know, just, um, losing parts of themselves. Right. And then on the flip side, you get your little country bunking sister <laughs> who never had their father. I told him, I said, yeah, because there's a lot that I don't know how to recognize when it comes to having a man very, very close to me. You know, I never lived under the same roof with a man. I never did that. You know, I've always been independent, have my own. I've been, I've dated, you know, and, um, I, my boyfriend that I had in college, I really, really 
liked him. He was so sweet. He was this big giant. And I always felt safe when I was with him, when he would call me and say, what you doing? Let's go get something. You know, I would feel safe going with him because that's, that's his heart was in the right place. He had a good heart and we could talk about anything. We could talk about the Bible. We could cry together. He could share stories with me, but my heart, I never fully opened my heart. For one, I always thought, well, I'm in college. There's no need for me to fall in love. And I never had sex. So we, I never lost my virginity to him, you know. And then growing up in my adult life, being strong because my father, I always said, no man is going to break my heart again. So my father was the first man to ever break my heart. He was the first, the only, the last. And so I always had friends. And when I would communicate with guy friends, I would go on dates. Like, you know, I've been on lots and lots of dates but there was always, I never really felt what I was looking for, you know, and me being a woman of God, there are certain things that I look for. And when I don't see that, I already know this is not the one, you know, and I've already, I've had, I've had tons and tons of men, they'll come and say, God told me to say, you're going to be my wife. And I know that they lying on God. I know God did not tell them that because I do not see what I need to see in them for me to let my guards down. Right. And so I just think that many men and women need to have um, genuine conversations, you know, and that sometimes some brothers, you know, some brothers get intimidated by the strength they see within a woman. But those things you don't when, when you criticize a woman that you don't know because of her strength, that's a reflection of your insecurity. That's not a reflection of of that woman because of her strength. That woman is not wrong. When sisters, when you have developed strength because you have decided you're not going to lower your standards in this world, you're not going to use what you got to get what you want and you're going to do things the right way, God will strengthen you. God protects his daughters, right? And so you're not wrong for being a strong woman. That man just doesn't understand you if he is coming at you, criticizing you for being strong without understanding who you are or your story. And brothers, you got to start taking the time to express yourself if you are coming from a sincere place. You see, my brother, another thing he told me, he says, you can easily tell. He said, when a man don't mean you no good, they're going to fast talk you. They're going to be manipulated. They're not going to sit and talk and explain themselves like how I talk. He said, they're going to want to keep uh, they gonna want to guide you into what they want you, where you where they want you to be and when they see you don't easily let your guards down they're gonna eventually run off and they might try to become disrespectful or insult you in type in some type of way because they couldn't because you saw them for who they are you know he said a man can pretend to be a lot of things he said but I'm not that type of brother and I already knew he was like that for a while you know I've known this brother for over what over a year or so ago and I just you know I know his heart I can feel his heart right. <clears throat> And so I just wanted to share that because the conversation that we had last night, it was just so fruitful. And he says, you know, he said, I really appreciate talking to you. And I really appreciate talking to him as well, because we learn from each other. You know, when you're, when you can have a innocent, open conversation, when nobody is looking at you, trying to hit on you, they're not attracted to you. It's just sitting down, talking and sharing from your perspective, you're allowing that other person, you know, you're learning from the opposite sex, you know? And so there's a lot that we can learn from each other. But what I've seen is people who are not healed, they will come before you insulting what they are intimidated at in you. They will try to insult you rather than just sharing their story or their life or how they view things, you know? Um, and, and so I can't communicate with people like that. I, I don't, I can't communicate with anyone that's trying to insult me. I can explain who I am. I can explain how I think from my perspective, I can explain and communicate my feelings and I can explain how someone's actions make me feel. And maybe if your actions aren't you, that's not your intentions to make me feel that way, then I need to understand, just as you would need to understand why I do and say what I do. You want to understand. And the only way to understand someone is to have genuine conversations, right? So I think the brothers and sisters need to talk. 
you know, those who are worthy and mature enough and whose heart is in the right posture, then you can have, sit down and have face-to-face conversations. You know, it, it helps. So that's just my little two cents. I hope y'all have a blessed day. Enjoy your Wednesday. It's kind of chilly outside. So make sure you're covered up if you're going out. Remember, we are the light of the world. Don't ever let the light grow dark, baby. Keep shining bright. And we know that the blood of Jesus Yeshua, that blood is the only blood that has power. Have conversations with each other and come to an understanding. You know, don't bring manipulation to the table. Don't try to use what you got to get what you want. Just listen and learn and heal, right? And then you can grow together. Have a blessed day.